What's up, everyone? This is Dark Fan Seventy Seven showing you how to install things. Um, uh, like um, like definition is like what I'm trying to say is installing things for Android that are paid without unknown sources. For like like you got it from the internet. But everyone knows when you go ahead and try to install it, this right here, the install will be blocked. So you go ahead and go to settings, but you check unknown sources. But some phones doesn't have a known source. That's the reason why I'm doing this video. So let's go ahead and tell you what to do. First, you're gonna um download something called what is it called again? Yeah, it's called um it's called Android Injector. And you go ahead and download it. It's gonna be right here. You download it from CNET. You go ahead right here. Go ahead and click run. Click yes. We're gonna allow it. It's alright. Go ahead and go to the next step. And then gonna be downloading the software. Your software will be downloading at 100 at whatever your speed is. It's going slow because I'm downloading something right here. Okay, now. You put install now because we want to install right now, not later. You put next. Um, if you want the Harmony toolbar, then you go ahead and click next. But I don't want it, so I'm gonna uncheck it. Then click next. Go ahead and put I accept. Next, 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 next. I mean install. I'll be installing. They're gonna open something you don't need. We don't need that view readme file. And yes, we're gonna launch. The injector thing here will be there's a phone on your computer. Oh my god, a phone on your computer, but nope, it's not touch, it's not touch. Like, you see, it's not touch screen. What you're gonna do is now go to f some website you want to down first. Now, you want to download s some things so your device can work. You go ahead to forshare.com, it's right there, and you put you need an account. I'm gonna do an account for YouTube users, which will be YouTube underscore for sure at hotmail.com or something like that. And I'm gonna make the password one through nine, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I talk too much, I know. <laughs> you go ahead and search about the game you want to see. I won't see some new game, some new game, some new game. I got all games on my device. Alright, Nessie Nova 3 just came out. Well, it didn't just, just came out. Yeah, there's Nova 3. That's not Nova 3. That's Nova, the regular one, but 3.5. Alright. Go ahead and click now, and then you're gonna be waiting. Which is the most thing I hate in my life, waiting. And then now we're not gonna make, you're not gonna wait, wait 20 seconds, cause... I already downloaded it. Yeah. In your face for sure, I'm just playing. Yeah, and then you go ahead and it will be right here in your downloads. Now what you're gonna do is on your phone go ahead go to settings go to applications go to development and then check debugging like it's unchecked on your phone then you go ahead and check it and then you click yes I don't know if y'all can see the yes thing but yep sorry about like it might be too bright for y'all, but that's the lowest brightness on my phone, trust me. Lowest brightness. Brightness is right here. You see that? There's the highest brightness on my phone. It's beautiful, but it's not beautiful on cameras. So, no one cares. Now you're gonna go ahead and connect your phone to your computer. Let me go ahead and connect it. Alright. When you connect it, it should say something like right here USB debugging connected. I don't know if y'all can see it. I don't really care if y'all can see it because you heard what you said. Oh, there it is USB debugging connected. So you go ahead right here, and when you download Nova 3 or wherever you want to download, you go ahead and click select files. Go ahead and search about the game you want to that you want to that put. Let's go ahead and move those right here. Oh man, oh yeah, I already have Nova 3. Let me go ahead and search for some other game. What do I want? 
Oh man, do I need to? Let me uninstall another three for my phone. Because I didn't play it yet. Just a second, it will install in a second. Well, 20 seconds. Nope, not this one. Yeah, so just in a second. And this is for most of HTC phones. This is right here because you got the Desire HD, Inspire 4G. Where else? I don't really care about HTC so much. That's why I don't know about it. And yup, I cannot find that game. That's Nova 2. Nova 3 is not found. Nova 3, Nova 3, it should be down here. Oh, there it is. Finally, I found you. Go ahead, I'm gonna uninstall it. Because I already installed it. And then I'm gonna un uninstall it so I can install it again. Go ahead and press continue and go back home and connect it again. Um, and yup, it should say right here that USB debugger, debugging is connected. I don't know if y'all can see it or whatever. Alright, and so you go ahead and select the files you want to download. I'll, I use what it's usually in your downloads, so I always put, I, I, may, I always manage my download, like here.apk files. So here you go, Nova 3. And click open. You can also select another file, see FIFA 12. I don't have FIFA 12 on my phone. Oh, hold on, I do. Alright, Nova 3. Go ahead right here. And then click install the device. And then it will be installing it. It will be a big failure if it didn't install. It says right here, device found. Installing, please wait. Currently installing Nova3.apk. And it says right here, one application. I don't know if you can see it. Hold on a second. One application installed successfully, zero apps fail to install, and here you see the details. Can't wait. Success. Alright, now you go ahead and you if you want to check, you see if I'm lying or not. Man, this video's gone too long. Um, can do it right here. Here you go, let's search about Nova, Nova, Nova 3. Let's check if it works. Let's check if it worked. It's working. Working. Really working. But we should download the thing. He'll be downloading the additional files for Nova 3. Alright everyone, this was the Rock Family 77 showing you how to download Android stuff for free without the US, I mean, without unknown sources. Man, it, it would have rhymed if I said without USB, but no one cares. Um, I know it was a little helpful, and this phone right here is helpful. I don't know what phone is that. That's Android Injector. Hold on. What about... HTC One Android Injector. Hold on. What about Samsung Galaxy Android Injector? No, no, no. Sony Xperia Android Injector. No one cares. Alright, see you on my next video.